guys, welcome back. I have just returned from the holidays, so I thought I would go ahead and do um, a little unboxing video. It's not quite a haul, but it's the new art supplies that I got for Christmas. Um, and I've kind of kept them in a little pile here and haven't touched them yet, which has been hard. Um, but I wanted to wait and unwrap them and show them to you guys. So, got a few things here. Um, and I'm not going to go over it really in any particular order. I'm just going to um, grab each item and I guess talk about it a little bit. And I haven't used any of these yet. Some of them were things that I knew about and had asked for and some were just um, things that other people picked out for me. So uh, this will be, yeah, like a unboxing slash first impressions, I guess. Um, so first, this is something that I had asked for and it's by Da Vinci. It's just like a little, um, what do they call these, drafting brushes. So it's like if you have all the, the stuff from your eraser or dust from, um, well actually you might want to be careful whether you used it with dust from media, but anyway, it's to keep your space clean. And I have been using compressed air canisters to do that, which I feel really bad about because it's not good for the environment. So this will be a more environmentally friendly way to clean up my workspace and the cat will not be afraid of it. So win-win. Uh, uh, I also got some brushes and the first is this watercolor wash brush also by Da Vinci and I'm having a hard time opening it. There we go. Um, yeah, this is just like for doing large layers of uh, large washes of paint uh, with watercolor or gouache. Um, and it's funny, it's actually smaller. I had seen this brush online, but it, like the brush itself is tiny compared to what I, um, for some reason I imagined it being a huge brush, but it's so cute. It's like a little baby wash brush. <clears throat> yes, I'm looking forward to using that. I think these are all by Da Vinci, actually, are they? Yeah, these are all by Da Vinci. Um, and this is a size 12 round brush, which I have really been looking forward to using. I, I use a lot of round brushes, but I this is the biggest one I've had in a long time. Uh, so I'm uh, looking forward to working on larger pieces with it, hopefully, and then also just being able to use it to cover more area quickly. And another round brush, also by Da Vinci. This is a size six. These are really nice because the uh, handle has kind of like a, a little bit of a triangle shape, so it's really comfortable to hold. And then this one I'm super excited about. Uh, it is a size eight Russian sable. Sable brushes are just, there is nothing like them. I, I use probably mostly artificial brushes, but I have one other sable brush and uh, it really just, it holds water really well, it holds the shape really well, it makes it so that you don't have to go back. When you're working with something like watercolor or gouache, you're often going back to the paint pile constantly to get more paint. And these brushes just like, they hold it perfectly so you don't have to keep going back as much. And uh, this is a, um, oh shoot, what's this? Oh, a filbert, filbert shape. And I use a lot of filbert. So um, yes, I'm very excited about this brush as well. And then this big box here, this was for my sister and it was totally a surprise. I don't know if you have ever heard of art snacks, but it's um, there's the blog on Tumblr called Eat Sleep Draw. I will link it down below. Uh, I've been, I've had work on there a few times and it's a really cool blog, um, a really cool Tumblr, Tumblr. And like a year ago, maybe two years ago, they started doing this thing called Art Snacks. Uh, you might have seen, this is their logo. It's a little magnet with their logo on it. And it's basically like a, like a Netflix or, um, it's more, it's, it's a subscription service. So it's, you sign up for it and then once a month they send you like a little box with some different art supplies and some candy in it. And this one that my sister got me is, it's, it's not a subscription, it's a one-time thing, but it's just like a big box full of full-size things to try. So I was very excited about it. Um, so I'm just going to go through the box and uh, look at what's in there. Um, there was another brush, another round brush, a Liquitex brush. It looks like it's for acrylic. It's a size four round. 
And this one's awesome because as they've mentioned in some other videos, I tend to use acrylic and oil brushes for blending out watercolor pencils. So this has a really nice um, stiff bristle at the tip as opposed to the watercolor ones which are very soft and fluid. Uh, so this will be great for uh, blending out watercolor pencils and for the rare occasion that I do bust out some acrylics. Um, and then uh, she, also in the box is this thing by this brand called Laco, L-A-S-C-A-U-X, Laco. I have not heard of them before, but Laco uh, Artist Metallics. And these are acrylic paints that have like actual um, metallic pigments. Ooh, they're from Switzerland. Um, and they come just in this little box here. There is a silver, which looks like this, a gold, and like a coppery, brassy color. What do they call it? King's gold. Oh, so it's two different golds. King's gold and then sunshine gold. And uh, you can see, I don't know if you can see on camera, but they have a really, they have some actual paint up at the top of the tube. And it looks really nice. Like a lot of metallic paints don't actually, um, don't actually look that metallic once they're applied, but uh, these ones will look very promising. So. There is a small box of Conti's, little Conti crayons, and I'm going to go ahead and open them up. I haven't opened them up yet. This is a limited edition. Oh, it's a cool box. It's like a little slider. Yeah, and it's just, so it looks like a um, a couple of umbers and a sienna and then a black, a white, and a gray. Um, Conti is a, I think it's in wax. Is it in wax? I, have, it's been, I haven't used Conti since school actually, but we used to use these a lot uh, for sketches. They're a compressed artist crayon type thing. It's like, I feel like it's kind of a mix between a charcoal and, and a crayon. I don't know, they're certainly not waxy, but they're not as dusty as charcoal. Um, I guess I should research like what is actually in Conti, but um, yes, there they are, a little box of Contis. Oh, this is so cute. I love it. Um, then there is this big container of Copic markers. These are jewel tones. So it looks like there's a kind of a red, a purple, a maroon, um, a planty type color, a teal, a green, and a gold. Um, and then these Caran d'Ache, what are these actually? I don't know. What are they? Crayons de la Maison? I don't know. Have you heard of those? I have not heard of those. Let's open them up. I have, um, I have some Caran d'Ache water-soluble wax pastels that I really like. I'm trying to get this on camera without stabbing myself in the face with the scissors. All right, there we go. Um, these all have nice boxes. I am like such a sucker for boxes. Oh, it's one of these. Isn't it? Yes. Fancy, fancy, fancy. Whew. Oh man, these are pretty. Okay, so I think they are just graphite pencils, but these are like really pretty graphite pencils. I don't know if you can see. Swiss made. I don't know how they're all different. I should have read this on the package first. It's all in French, so I will have to <laughs> explore how to use these in English. Yeah, all, all in French. I don't know what it means, but there are four different kinds and they look really cool. And they're in this fancy box and they're by Creme d'Ache, which is a lovely product, so a lovely brand. I'm sure I will enjoy them and we'll figure out how to use them even though the directions are in French. And then these, which are, I think the brand is Zig, and they're um, like a manga illustration uh, marker. I'm trying to open them up. I haven't ever actually tried one, so I don't want to ruin the package. 
Okay, I'm just grabbing a random one out of the package. Yeah, it looks very similar to a Micron. Uh, they have different sizes and thicknesses and it has the same little uh, felt nib and a metal kind of casing at the tip. So very, it looks very similar to a Micron. Oh, and Art Snacks has included a very helpful list, which if I had looked at this ahead of time, I could have <laughs> used this to read it to you guys. But um, I'll include a version of this uh, below so you can see the descriptions of the different things. Um, and then the last thing in the box is this really nice um, sketchbook of watercolor paper. I think it's watercolor paper. Um, oh, it's a mixed media paper. It's by B B Paper, which I've used them in the past. I like their paper uh, a lot. It's just nice. It's like a, a medium weight and has a little bit of a texture to it, and it's a pretty like natural um, craft colored front. So that was it. That's my, oh, oh, actually, wait, no, not it, not it. I also have this easel here, um, which is a new addition to the studio, and I'm really excited about using it since it's going to let me do larger scale pieces, like pieces on canvas or things on really big blocks, which I've been trying to do on my drafting table here, but it's kind of hard because then I'm like bent directly over it. So I will be producing larger stuff in the near future. Um, and that is it for, for the Christmas haul slash unboxing slash first impression, but not really actually, I guess, a first impression because I didn't use anything. Uh, okay, that's it. Uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, give me something. Do a thumbs up or subscribe or say your comments below. Um, I'm trying to be more relaxed in this video since it's the new year and maybe I can do this without being really nervous. <laughs> uh, so yes, that's it. Uh, I will see you guys in the next one.